Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. This week's show finds Bill near Hawks K Island Resort, located midway down the Florida Keys on the tropical 60-acre island of Duck Key. This area offers some of the world's best fishing, and Bill's guide for this trip, Captain Rich Tudor, knows every inch of it well. He's co-host of the highly acclaimed Saltwater Experience TV show that also airs here on NBC Sports. Rich and his show co-host Tom Rowland also operate a popular charter service in this area. Today, Bill and Rich are going for a species that's plentiful here and always tons of fun to do battle with. It's a fish that simply can't be discussed without mentions of super sharp teeth, unbelievable power, terrific fights, acrobatic jumps, and explosive speed. If you guessed it's the Barracuda, you know your fish. He's after, he's after. Oh, he just came out of the water. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. He's going to go after again. Oh, he missed it again. Oh, look at him go. That's awesome. What a bite. I'm real. There you go. Good cool. job, Bill. <laughs> look at him jump. Woo. Oh, man. Woo. How about what that? What an acrobatic thing. <laughs> Woo. Now, that was a hot bite. <laughs> wow. Brother. Four ben. times he missed it. Brother Ben shot our goose and killed our hen. <laughs> Brother, he was dead on that on that mullet. I mean, oh, there's jumping! Look at that. That's a big one. Oh man. Nice one. Woo! Man, I tell you what, never get too old for this. Man, my heart's beating. 300 times. Oh. Trying to get under the boat, aren't you? Feel oh, that shade. Good drag. Wee. Wee. You definitely need to have a smooth drag with these fast fish. <laughs> See it, big old, like a silver bullet down there. Watch him under the boat there, Billy. He's getting under the motor. He, he, the aggravating thing wants to stay under there. I think. Never had one do that. Here. Here he's coming around. Here he is. Real down. Coming, yeah, it's coming up to you. Okay, great. Oh, he's kind of... Like there he is. Hooky. Nice job, Bill. Wow, look at that. That stinger's got him right below. Nice fish. <laughs> you did good. You did good. See if Let I can get, get the hook out. So right, I, got, I got this one easy. There, I got the hook out. Woo! Nicely well, you done. That you did. dude right there. <laughs> you did good. That was an exciting bite. He got his hat, didn't he? <laughs> Jumping. Look, there, look, look at that uh, that top fin, that dorsal fin. Look how it folds down in that little 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 case there. Yeah. And I push it right down. It's got its own little little spot it folds down into for extra speed. Oh. There's something. <laughs> there's something. Look at big eye. Better to see you with, my dear. <laughs> that is a true predator there. Well, let's say bye. Nice job. Thank you, Rich. You sure you don't want to kiss him? No. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Let's see that. Woo! Now that was an exciting bite there. Good job. <laughs> Today's show is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. And by Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. All right, now. One, one right through the top lip there. Now you're using a what a five volt mm -hmm. J. That yep. top hook is a five volt yep. Tamakatsu J hook. Mm -hmm. And then the stinger. Here's the key: is, is you don't want to pull it too tight like that because then he can't swim good. You got to measure it out. So 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 you put it in there. 
and still you can still still have fr freedom. It doesn't affect the way he swims. You're just pulling from that front hook, and then he swims natural. So you've got a number five, number five wire leader uh, mm -hmm. coming from this J hook all the way back to uh, your treble hook. That's right. And that stinger, when he tries to cut that tail off, that stinger will get him almost every time. We've got our reel spooled with 30-pound test Grand Slam Brake, to which we've added a section of 60-pound test Quattro fluorocarbon leader. To that, we've attached a small piece of AFW number five size tooth-proof stainless steel leader wire. And finally, on the business end, there's a number 18415 Gamakatsu 5 off live bait saltwater hood. With one after for sure. Here, Bill, take this. Hold it with your finger. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. He's jumping after it. He's jumping after it. Look at him go. Look at him go. He took it. He just took it. Go ahead and hook him. There you go. Good job, Bill. <laughs> nice. That was an awesome bite. Look at him go. Woo. Yeah, that's an exciting bite when you can see him, see him coming like that. She doesn't get under the boat there. Better walk him around. Nice. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. Come on, it's strong. <laughs> it's a neat fish right there. <laughs> yeah. The record barracuda caught on a hook and line was 5.5 feet long and weighed 103 pounds. They can get larger than that, and any over 4.8 feet are considered very large. They feed primarily on jacks, grunts, groupers, snappers, small tunas, mullets, killifishes, herrings, and anchovies, which they locate primarily by their keen eyesight. With a large gape and very sharp teeth, barracudas can feed on large fish by chopping them in half. Their body is designed for speed, and they travel as fast as 36 miles per hour. There's a great example. Look, look at that. The, he, he chopped that back end off, and the stinger got him. The, the, the head's still hooked on there, just normal. Look at that. I mean, it's like a razor, isn't it? Oh, man. He'd take your whole hand off in a second if you let him. And those mullets, you know, biting right through bone and flesh and everything. Woo! Boy, you got a way in my face. Well done. Good job, buddy. That's pretty neat, huh? That's why that stinger rig is so important there. Good there job. it is. Very cool. There's that, that bottom tooth that goes in there like that. Uh -huh. Perfect little. I love the way that goes in there like that. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, they can, <laughs> they got some chompers on that. <laughs> True predator. All right. I'll said, let him Put go. me back. There he goes. Well done. That was a good way to get it going. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Woo! Well done. That mullet was like just going it. back and forth, back yeah, and no, forth, back he, and he, forth. Boy, i tell you what he said. I mean, <laughs> he knew something was bad on him, didn't he? It, hey, did. it was exciting. Look, look, look at the bait. Yeah. That is something You talk about precision. I mean, he just whacked it off. Yeah. That's the advantage of that hook, isn't it? That, yeah, you gotta that teaser. That, gotta have that stinger rig there. You, you got that number five wire running off the back of yep, it. Yep, number five wire. Great, done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Today's show is sponsored in part by Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. And by Mahindra Tractors, the world's number one selling tractor. Today's equipment log is sponsored by Lowrance and the all-new Mark and Elite 4 DSI downscan imaging systems featuring the photo-like detail of Lowrance structure scan. Downscan imaging goes beyond sonar, making it easier to read and interpret than traditional sonar. Today's show is sponsored in part by Grand Slam Mono and Brave. Big fish tough for when the money's on the line. And by Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Are these just resident fish? Do they stay here year round? 
you know, there's always barracudas around, that's for sure, but I do think these particular fish, you know, kind of come and go. Um, maybe they're, you know, at times, maybe they're out on the reef. Oh, here's one coming right out. The short baby, he just, the short baby just jumped out of the water there. He totally freaked out. They stay out on the reefs? Sometimes they'll be out on the reef. Sometimes they'll be, you know, in here close to shore. Right now, they're feeding on these mullet, and these mullet schools come through at night, so they're kind of um, hunting on these shorelines. Um, this is where these schools of mullet might push up against the shoreline. And then, uh, and then as that school mullet pushes down, the, uh, the kudas are here waiting for them. And uh, they're going to, as you see, they eat them up. Well, do they spawn here? Uh, you know, I don't know much about the shore? I don't know much about the kudas spawning. I've never really heard anybody tell me anything about the kudas spawning. Um, I, you know, the, the, the two things that, that I do know that happen consistently is one, um, when it's cold, like in the wintertime, they, uh, they, 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 like after you've had a couple cold days and then you get that first sunny, warm, warm day, they'll, they'll pile up on the flats by the thousands because they, they literally come up there to warm. Um, the shallow water heats up quicker and they'll get up there and soak up that sunshine and, and uh, kind of warm their bodies. They're, they're a, um, a very tropical fish and they can, uh, th 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 they actually died a lot when, when they had these cold fronts. Um, along with the snook, they're very sensitive to the cold. Oh, look at that right there. That was on you. You got him? Yeah, right at the boat. Get him. Oh, he's on in the boat. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Let me get out of your way. Right at the boat. That was a big fish, too. Way to go, buddy. Man, that was right under the motorway. <laughs> <laughs> he just exploded right behind the boat. Now, we might get a double on. This is, this is exactly where we got that bite earlier in the day. They like this area along the highway. He's gonna jump right here. Come on, jump for me. Look how fast he's going. Woo! Woo! They cut it. They can cut it. Back you up if I have to. Okay. There he goes. We'll pull down a little bit for you. That was an exciting bite. Uh, that was exciting, right? I wasn't expecting it. I was reeling it in to get it out of the way for you. Right, jump, go. There he is. Boom. Oh, look at here. That's that. a nice one. Ooh, wait. That's a nice one. Wow. Look at that. that is a nice fish. Nice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at really that. nice. That stinger got him right on the outside of the lip. There. Yeah. You want to go ahead and take him? I got you, Rod. You want to go ahead and yeah. grab him? Sure. There, cool. That is a ferocious eating machine. You've done that before, Rich. Yeah, once or twice. Still got to be real fun. careful. Ooh, look at the size of that. Nice. Great, too. <laughs> Great man. <laughs> Great man. Great man. He's, he's heavy. Let me get that hook out of him. Nice. Fly yeah, that'd be great. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> How about that? Wow. That is something, huh? Woo! That's a nice cooter. Daddy. Look at that coloration. See how uh -huh. beautiful they are? Like a silver bullet, ain't mm -hmm. Built wow. for speed. Very good cool. fish, buddy. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Good. That's good. Today's product tip is sponsored by Mystic Lubricants. No matter the machine, Mystic's got a full line of products specially formulated to dominate performance, conditions, and competition. The Mako 18 LTS ensures a whole other breed of bay boat. Its patented rapid planing system can push it up on plane in record time in only 24 inches of water. Generous platforms are perfect for sight casting. For shallow stalking, add optional polling platform, pole, and holders. Many other options are available for the Mako LTS-18 to take your inshore fishing to the max. Today's show is sponsored in part by Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. Closed captioning is provided by PowerPole, the original shallow water anchor.
But you can see there's just multiple passes up and down Highway 1, right? Yeah, right down this edge. Funnels through here and the fish are just feeding on the rim of that funnel. They're kind of trapping these mullet against this bank, aren't they? It's got bit. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's coming at me. He's coming at the boat. Oh, look at him coming at the boat. <laughs> he's still coming at the boat. Better watch out, Billy. He might jump in. Oh, God. You see that? He was coming at the boat so fast. <laughs> All right. Here, hold that rock, Bill. You got you, buddy. B. Very nice. See around that dude. <laughs> real, 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 real. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. He's gonna jump. Oh, there he is. That's a big one. That's a big fish. Oh, Ooh, that's a at. huge one. That is a monster. That is way, way bigger than anything we've seen today. Be ready, right, you might have to go up around the bow or something. Look at the size of that guy! <laughs> wow, that's a big one. Watch him under this boat. <laughs> Look at the size of that barracuda. Oh my goodness. He is a big one, isn't he? Oh my goodness. Wow. Tip high. Wow, look at him jumping. Oh, jump. Look at him jumping. Woo. Like a marlin, huh? <laughs> that was a fantastic <laughs> jump. <laughs> wow. I mean, he was here and he was gone. <laughs> you think that was 50 or 60 miles an hour burst? Absolutely. Yeah. Now we're going to handle him. You get him up here and get him nice and tired before I touch him. He played my whole arm off. Wow, we nice job. That thing is immense. You can hold you later. Wow! -wee. Look at the size of that guy. My goodness, huh? My goodness, you did good, Bill. <laughs> you did real good. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that is a giant barracuda. That's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Really? That's huge. That's got to be over 40 pounds. Oh, man, that is huge. Whoa! My goodness. That is a big one. Can you believe that? Huh? That's the biggest one I've ever caught. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. He's got sea lice all over his head. So. Huh. Nice job, Bill. That is a monster barracuda. Wow. Woo! Look at that guy. All right, there he goes. Woo! <laughs> nice job, Bill. Wow. You did good. You did good. That is a giant barracuda. Wow. Woo. Nice Make good hands, buddy. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a big one. Yay! Woo! If you're looking for choice table fare, Barracuda won't score very well, if at all. But as you've seen, when it comes to a downright feisty fun fish to catch, they're really hard to beat. And their bite is dependable. You can almost always come out a winter Cuda fishing here in the Key West area, so it's a good species to go for, especially when time is short and you're looking for lots of action. Thanks for climbing aboard today, and we hope you'll do it again next week, right here on NBC Sports. If you're looking for the latest fishing information and tips, be sure to check out the new Bill Dance iPhone and iPad app, free in the App Store. Today's surf and email is sponsored by Bill Dance on Facebook. Like us on Facebook and join in the Bill Dance Facebook fun. Bill posts all the time, and you'll get some great fishing tips, too. Why are cobia considered one of the most unpredictable fish? Because one day you'll find cobia near the surface in a patch of seagrass or timber. You can cast every artificial and natural bait you have, and they'll totally ignore it. Next day, they'll savagely attack anything you cast the second it touches the water. At other times, cobia simply lounge in deep water, practically on the bottom. Now for this week's Bill Dance Saltwater Travel Log. 
Ducks Key is located about midway down the Florida Keys and is about an hour's drive north of the Key West International Airport. We'd like to thank our guide for today, Captain Rich Tudor of Saltwater Experience Outfitters. And we highly recommend him if you want to fish in this fantastic area. And beautiful Hawks Cay Resort in Duck Key generously provided our accommodations for this fun trip. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.